Hi everyone, today I thought I would show you my coat collection, if you will, um, because I have accumulated quite a lot of coats over the years and I thought I'd just show them to you because it's winter, people are wearing coats and it might give you some ideas of some coats you might like, so yeah. I'll try and link either the exact coat or a similar one in the description box. Pretty sure most of them won't be available because I did buy some of them when I was still in school. So yeah, I'll show you. I hope you enjoy. So I'll start off with my fluffy coats because they're probably what I'm reaching for the most at the moment. So the first one is just my brown one from Misguided, which I'm loving. It's so easy to style because it's more like of a neutral fluffy coat. So pretty much loads of everything, really soft, really fluffy. The fluff does come off a little bit. So like when I'm driving to uni, I will pretty much like just be eating my coat and my car is just full of fluff now. But it's cozy, warm, easy to style. What more could you want in winter? So the next one is my bright orange fluffy coat from Next, which I love to pieces, it's just incredibly hard to style because you really do have to wear a simple outfit underneath it because it's bright orange and fluffy. Um, so yeah, love it, warm, cosy, softest thing you'll ever touch, just a little bit harder to style. So moving on to the more sheep sort of teddy style fluffy coats rather than the faux fur soft very fluffy coats. Um, I have this one from Shein. This is one that I was actually sent for free. I really like it. Cozy, soft. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it doesn't have pockets and when it's cold I like to shove my hands in my pockets but this doesn't have any pockets for the shoving. Um, but yeah, I really like it. When I first received it, I pretty much wore it every day. Um, now that I have like my softer, fluffier coats, I'm reaching more for those, but it's still a fantastic coat. Love it. So then I have my sheep coat from Primark. This is my only coat from Primark, but when I went in there recently to get a few home bits, I saw their coats for this season and they are just so nice but I thought I can't really justify buying any more coats. I have plenty, there's one on my Christmas list. I think I'm getting sent a couple more as well so I can't really justify buying any more coats myself. But anyway yeah, this one's from Primark. I'm pretty sure it was quite cheap, probably about 20 quid but I think I bought this when I was back in school so I'm not sure they'll have this exact one but they may have a similar one or they have some really nice coats anyway so Primark is probably a good place to check out right now. Not right now, like tomorrow, another day, soon. <laughs> so that's all for my fluffy coats. Now moving on to my more sort of bomber jacket style things. Don't really know what to call this style of coat because they're not really bomber jackets, but they're more that style than anything else. Um, so I have this one, which I picked up from a charity shop, but I think originally, yeah, from John Lewis and it's a men's one. So it's really big, really cozy. It's got sort of fleece inside, which I love. Um, this one was one that I got when I was back in school as well, and I pretty much wore it every day. I think I got it in year 10, so when I was about 14? I can't remember. So I've had it a while, and someone else owned it before me. So it's a proper sturdy coat. Love it. It does need a bit of a clean, though, because it's a bit messy. I don't think it's been cleaned since I first got it, which is a little bit gross. But yeah. It's a nice coat, easy to style. It's one that I just grab when I want a coat and want to just like run out the door. So my next bomber jacket is this patterned one from Misguided, which I like, but I just don't really wear at all. Um, I think I bought it about two years ago and I bought the matching skirt as well, but I obviously don't wear them together. But I just think the pattern's so out there that I struggle to wear it. At the time, I just really wanted a patterned bomber jacket because I think a character in Scream Queens wore one. I could be thinking of the wrong program, but basically I saw someone wearing a patterned bomber jacket and I really liked it, looked for a similar one everywhere, and this was the closest one I could find. Um, but yeah, I've just never really worn it. I think it's just really out there. I find it hard to style and I feel like Everyone would look at me if I was wearing it, so maybe if I just build up a bit more confidence and wear it out, it would look good. Um, but at the moment, it's just sitting in my wardrobe, not really getting worn. This next jacket isn't really a bomber jacket, but I didn't really know what category to throw it in with. Um, I guess it could be its own category. It's a ski jacket. So it's my mum's old pink ski jacket, which she was actually going to throw out. And then I was like, wait, mum, 
I like that. Hold on. Um, so yeah, I saved it and I wear it quite a bit. It's very warm and cosy, um, which it should be being a ski jacket. But yeah, I like it. My mum doesn't know why I like it because she thinks it's big and ugly, but I think it looks cool and a bit vintage. I like it. I've then just got my red puffer jacket and I know a lot of people have red puffer jackets, but I just really like them. Mine's a bit of a thinner one than most people have, but I feel like if I wore one of those really big puffer ones, then I would just get swallowed by it. So I got this one, really like it. Haven't actually worn it much recently because I've just been obsessed with my faux fur coats. Um, but yeah, got this for Christmas last year, wore it loads when I got it. Uh, probably need to break it out again, wear it a bit more. I've then just got my sort of smart black coat. It's not the smartest thing, but it's probably one of my smartest coats. Um, I bought this one when I was back in school as well, just because I wanted a simple black coat to throw on over every, any, everything and everything. Every, anything and everything. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> basically, I just thought it'd be handy to have a black coat that would go with anything. So that's what this coat is. And then I've just got my black, white and gray sort of speckly coat, which is sort of the same smart style as my black coat. Um, this is another one that I got when I was in school and I remember this style of coat was really popular for a while so pretty much every girl would have one um, and I was no exception. So yeah, I hopped on that trend, got it. Haven't worn this one a lot lately. I haven't worn my black one either but that's because like at uni you don't have to be smart at all. So I go for my big bulky coats because they're just warmer and cozier. But I feel like I should break out these smarter coats again. I've then just got my trusty denim jacket, which must be getting on in years as well now. But this is more of my spring summer jacket because it's more lightweight, you don't really need the warmth. Um, but sometimes I do wear it in autumn winter if I'm wearing like thick enough stuff underneath. But yeah my trusty denim jacket. Can't go wrong with a denim jacket. Then I just have my yellow raincoat, which I got when yellow raincoats were like the massive thing to have. Um, I don't really wear it a lot anymore because when it rains, I'm normally inside or going straight to my car or I don't really tend to hang out in the rain. Um, but I still like it. I will still wear it if I do need to venture out in the rain. It's just... I haven't really needed to. And then finally, my last jacket isn't really a jacket. Um, like I wear it as a jacket, but it's not really a jacket. You'll see. It's basically this fleece sort of flannel shirt. It's quite a thick flannel shirt, so I don't really wear it like I wear my checked ones. I more wear it as a jacket, so I thought I would just include it now. Um, yeah, it's more of like a summer jacket though, because it is still quite thin, even though it's thicker than my other flannel shirts. I'll shut up now. So that's everything for my coat collection. I'm very aware that I have a lot of coats and the one girl does not need this many, um, but I just like a good coat. I feel like coats are one of my things when it comes to fashion. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked this. I try to keep it short and sweet, so hopefully it ends up that way in the edit. Um, yeah, I will see you soon. <laughs> cringe, 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 cringe.